Greetings. My name is Ken Edwards. I'm an owner and engineer with LMNO Engineering Research and Software Limited here in Athens, Ohio, USA. Our website can be found at www.lmnoeng.com. Today I am conducting an experiment of steady flow of water out of a container. The water begins, the water is stored in this large tank here and is pumped through a submersible pump through clear tubing of three quarter inch inside diameter. The water then flows through a valve which is set so that the flow is constant as it flows into this container. The container has a head of water above the orifice. The water level is here, the center line of the orifice is down here. The water then flows out of the orifice and discharges back into the tank. The orifice is one fourth inch diameter. It was drilled with a uh, one quarter inch diameter drill bit, a 0.25 inch diameter drill bit. We will now measure the head of water above the center line of the orifice, and we'll also measure the flow rate of water coming out of the orifice, and also the horizontal and vertical trajectory of the water as it flows from the orifice and back into the large tank. So let's first measure the head. You can use, you can visually make measurements um, by looking at my yardsticks, which have black tape, which is one inch long, separated by one eight, excuse me, separated by one inch intervals. But I'd like to make a more accurate measurement by using this square that's calibrated in one thirty second inch intervals. That still may be hard to see. So if I hold the square to the center line of the orifice, right there, and measure the water level at the surface right here, it is about 4.75 inches. Now I can measure the flow rate of the water coming out of the orifice. And I'll do that by filling a known volume of water for a certain period of time. This container is calibrated in one half pint intervals and has a maximum of two quarts at the top. And here's my clock. And I'm going to start measuring. The second hand was right at the 12 when I started measuring the flow rate into the bucket. It's now up, the water level is now at the one pint mark, and one pint is one half of a quart, and there were four quarts in a U.S. gallon. Our second hand is now coming around to the 25 second mark, and we are just about at one quart of water. The second hand is now coming around to the 35 second mark, and we're at about two and a half pints. We'll measure up to the two quart mark, which is half a gallon, and record the time that it took to measure that two quarts of water. So we're now at about three and a half pints, and now we are coming up to the two quart mark right now, and we're at 58 seconds. So it took 58 seconds to record, to uh, fill one half gallon of water. Now let's record the horizontal and vertical trajectory of the water. Again, you can see by the yardstick markings, approximately the horizontal and vertical trajectory. Now we can measure the trajectory at any point along the path of the water. For convenience, I'm going to take a point near the intersection of my two yardsticks. 
right at the bottom left hand corner of the yardsticks right there to the point on the path of the water. So I'm going to use my square here and measure the horizontal trajectory. Right there, 12.75 inches. And now the vertical trajectory, I'll line that up with the center line of the hole. And that's 9.25 inches. This concludes our experiment. Thank you for watching.